friends. See you again with me. Hope you are always healthy. Live long and stay happy. This time we will discuss again the famous scientist in the world again. Who is he? Let's talk about it. Michael Faraday is a British scientist who has earned the nickname Father of Electricity. Because of his efforts, electricity has become a useful technology. He studied various fields of science, including electromagnetism and electrochemistry. Born September 22, 1791, Newington Butts, London, United Kingdom. Died August 25, 1867, Hampton Court Palace, Molesey, United Kingdom. Nationality: United Kingdom. Parents: James Faraday, Margaret Hastwell. Spouse: Sarah Barnard, R. 1821 to 1867. Influenced by Humphrey Davy, Francois Arago, William Thomas Brandy. Awards: Copley Medal, Royal Society Bakerian Medal, Royal Medal. Rumford Medal, Albert Medal. He also invented the device that would later become the Bunsen burner, which is used in almost all science laboratories as a practical source of heat. The effects of magnetism led him to discover the ideas that form the basis of magnetic field theory. He gave many lectures to popularize science in the general public. His rational approach to developing theory and analyzing the results is astounding. Michael Faraday was born in Newington Butts, London, United Kingdom. His family moved to London in the winter of 1790, and in the spring of that year, Faraday was born. Faraday is the third of four children with little formal education. At the age of fourteen, he was apprenticed as a seller and bookbinder. Seven years working as a salesperson and bookbinder gave him many opportunities to read many books, and it was during this time that he developed his curiosity in science. At the age of twenty, he quit his apprenticeship and attended lectures delivered by Humphrey Davy. From there, he then got in touch with Davy and eventually became Davy's assistant when the scientist had problems with his eyesight due to nitrogen trichloride. And from here, he began his extraordinary life story. In chemistry, Faraday started his work in chemistry as an assistant to Humphrey Davy. He managed to find the substance of chlorine and carbon. He also succeeded in liquefying some gases, investigating steel alloys, and making several new types of glass intended for optical purposes. Faraday was the first to discover the Bunsen burner, which is now widely used all over the world. Faraday worked extensively in chemistry. Discovered another chemical substance, namely benzene, and liquefied chlorine gas. The liquefaction of chlorine gas aims to establish that a gas is a vapor of a liquid having a low boiling point and provides a more definite basic concept of molecular collection. He has also determined the composition of the chlorine clathrate hydrate. Faraday is the discoverer of the law of electrolysis and popularized the terms anode, cathode, electrode, and ion. He was also the first to study metal nanoparticles. In electricity and magnetism, Faraday became famous for his work on electricity and magnetism. His first experiment was to construct a voltaic pile with seven half pennies. Stacked with seven sheets of zinc and six sheets of brine-soaked paper. With this construction, he managed to decompose magnesium sulfate. In 1821, Hans Christian Rested published the phenomenon of electromagnetism. 
From here Faraday then began research aimed at making a device that can produce electromagnetic rotation. One of the tools that he succeeded in creating was a homopolar motor. In this tool there was a continuous circular motion caused by a magnetic loop around the cable which was extended into a pool of mercury where previously a magnet had been placed in the pool, then the cable would rotate. Around a magnet when an electric current is applied to it from the battery. This discovery is the basis of today's electromagnetic technology. Faraday made a new breakthrough when he wound two separate coils of wire and discovered that the first coil would be passed through by current, while the second coil was fed through. This is what is known today as reciprocal induction. The results of this experiment resulted that changes in the magnetic field can produce an electric field, which was later modeled by James Clerk Maxwell and known as Faraday's Law. In 1845 Faraday discovered that many matter exhibited weak resistance to an electric field. This event is what he named diagmatism. Faraday also discovered that the plane of polarization of linearly polarized light can be rotated by the application of an external magnetic field in the direction of the light's motion. This is called the Faraday effect. Then in 1862, Faraday used a spectroscope to look for differences in changes in light, changes in spectral lines by applying a magnetic field. But the equipment he was using at that time was not sufficient, so it was not enough to determine the spectrum changes that occurred. Then this research was continued by Peter Zeeman. then he published his results in 1897 and received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1902 thanks to the reference from Faraday. Well that's the story, hopefully it will make us know, and become innovation, motivation, and make us smarter, thank you very much for watching and waiting for the next story, see you again in the next story.